So this is the third video on using Corvex, a geometry plugin developed by Wallworm. And we're going to delete the objects that we already have in this scene. We're going to remove these splines that we already have for this Corvex object. And notice that when we remove all splines that are in here, the Corvex object reverts back to this basic doll cube. I'm going to delete all the splines we created in the previous video. And I'm going to unhide a layer that I have that has some other splines in the scene. Now this Corvex object, I'm going to call it Building Height 1. And I'm going to add all the splines of this object that I want to all be 256 units high. And I want to lock their height. And now I can just add existing splines. So in this case, I want this spline. I also want to use some other splines here. However, notice that I can't select all of these because they're actually rectangles. At the moment you can only use editable splines. So I'm going to select all of these objects that I have previously created that are rectangle shapes. I'm going to right click and choose convert to editable spline. Now when I go back to my Corvex object, I should be able to select some of these other ones. Alright, now I want to add some of these other things in the scene as other types of geometry. Actually, I'm going to remove this last shape. Remove this spline because I actually intended to use this shape. Okay, now we're going to add a new Corvex object to the scene. And we're going to call this one building height 2 and for this object I want to add this spline and this spline and what we're gonna do for this oh excuse me we're then going to give these guys a different height so these ones will be 512 and we don't want to match the height for these. I want this to be 256 to match the size of our other one. And now we also want to add another Corvex object. And this one we're going to call ground. And we're going to add all of these lower splines. All right, and for this one, I'm actually going to give it a, a height of negative 64. So now it's in the ground. And I'm going to apply a, a multi-material that I have already made for this object. Now some of the UV controls may not automatically have uh, the UV that you want. In case this ground here is an example, we may want to uncheck these match and hit set from material and then match the height here. You may have to play with these sometimes. Uh, in the future I will be doing more work to uh, add more controls especially for the top and bottoms. So I wanted to briefly go back to this uh, Corvex of the ground here. We can change the scaling as we want um, with these controls just like on the walls, the offset, the V scale as well and the offsetting if we need to do those and we can actually rotate this like demonstrated in a previous video if we need this to be rotated.